Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 56 and this XR web designer 7 premium tutorial we're going to be talking about how to upgrade to XR web designer 7 I mean web XR web designer 8 uh, premium so again we're going to be talking about how to upgrade to the newest version of the XR software called XR web designer 8 and that's XR and that's this also can be called XR web designer MX 8 premium as well so there's two names that I refer to it by um, if you want to refer to the technical name it'll be XR web designer MX 8 premium um, for their new software and I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade to that in this tutorial to take advantage of the new features in their new program so to get started you're going to want to go to your web browser which I already have mine open which would be Firefox and I'm going to be showing you how to um, upgrade and support us at the same time so if you're planning to upgrade to the newest version of software uh, I'm going to show you the method to support us and this tutorial will also apply to those who aren't upgrading and your this is your first time purchase of the software so let's go ahead and get started uh, the first thing that you want to do is go to your um, address bar in your web browser so we're going to go to youtube.com so type in youtube.com and when you type in youtube.com in your in your address bar and I'll type that slowly for those who are maybe new to my tutorials you'll type in youtube.com and then hit enter and that's going to take you to youtube.com and in the search bar up here you're going to type in XR tutorials and it really doesn't matter which tutorial you go to for hours but I'm going to go to lesson 55 so I'm going to type XR tutorial lessons 55 or I could type lesson 55 that, that makes a little bit more sense but you would type in XR tutorials lesson 55 hit enter and the first video you should see is for lesson 55 and let's go ahead and click on that link for that video and we're not going to actually watch the video in this case we're going to go the show more description so when you get to that video it's going to force you to watch an advertisement for a bit and you can actually pause it by hitting the pause key here so I'm going to pause that because I don't need to see the advertisement or this video at all because I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade or purchase the software for the first time. So once you do that, let's go ahead and hit hit the show more option here under our description. When you left click on that, it's going to expand that and show you more information. And by the way, sometimes you can read this information. It'll give you more insight into um, what our videos are about. So it's really important to take a look at these uh, short more descriptions sometimes. So once you do that, you'll look for an option that says buy XR web designer. And that's right here. You'll see the link here. That's right next to it. And when you click on this link next to that buy XR web designer, anytime you click this link and go to your site and make a purchase, it's going to actually generate revenue. It doesn't matter what program you buy. When you click this link, it's going to support us in making training videos when you make a purchase at their website. So go ahead and left click on that link and it's going to open up a new tab and it's going to take you to the XR website. And in this case, I plan on upgrading to XR Web Designer MX Premium. So I'm going to go to the products link up here in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to left click on that. And I'm going to look for the Web Designer MX uh, premium 8. So I found it here. As you can see, it says Xire Web Designer MX Premium version 8. And I'm going to click on that link. And that's going to take me to the page where I can buy it. And actually, I was already at this page, so I apologize. I kind of redid things twice here. You could have just clicked on the Buy Now button. And when you click on this Buy Now button, it'll take you to the next page. And it'll show both versions. It'll show Web Designer MX, the regular version on the left hand side for $49.99. And this is in my currency, so it may show a different number depending on what your currency is. And then on the right hand side, it'll say Web Designer MX Premium. And that's the version that you're going to want to get because that's going to have everything in the program. And I'm not going to go over the, what the features are in this particular tutorial, but do know in order to follow my tutorials, you will need to get the premium version and I highly recommend you get it because it's going to have a lot of features that will be very useful for you but if you did want to compare it you could always click on the features option up here in the upper left hand corner if you were to click on that 
it will show you what the features of the program are and you would scroll down and you would see all the different uh, features that they have now you could also click on the compare button up here if you click on the compare button up the right hand corner it'll allow you to see what the differences are between web designer MX versus web designer MX premium and I highly recommend that you take a chance to look through and see what you're missing out like you won't have animation that's a very important aspect so just on that alone I highly recommend you get web designer MX premium you know you won't be able to embed fonts if you don't get the premium version you won't be able to get the extra widgets for slideshows I mean I don't think that I really need to go through this whole list because it's very obvious that you're gonna lose a lot of value if you don't upgrade to MX premium so I'm not gonna go through the rest of those I just briefly showed you that there let's go ahead and go back to purchasing the program so you could click this buy now button up here or you could click on the products button and go back and look for it there but I'm gonna go ahead and cl click on products because I think it'll be easier uh, for you to follow along and I'm gonna look for uh, version 8 again let's left click on that and then I'm gonna click on the buy now button here and hopefully you're following me along with this tutorial and once you get back to this page where it shows both, both uh, web designer MX and web designer MX premium I'm going to click on the buy now button again and when I click on that buy now button I'm going to choose either I am a new customer or I'm a returning customer now this is for those who don't have the program yet this process and you if you're not a current customer you would leave the option check called I am a new customer and you would click on the button that says address entry and when you left click on that it's going to take you to the next page and you're going to enter in all your information and you're either going to choose the option I am a private customer or I am a business customer and if you place your cursor over any of these uh, icons with the, ye the yellow and the exclamation mark it will say if you are ordering articles for personal use you are a private customer and if you are ordering articles for commercial use you are a business customer please enter the name of the company and once you enter all that information you would hit the shopping cart option and you would continue to do this process until you go through the whole hierarchy and as you can see up here it's a registration is the first part and then address shopping cart payment method check and pay so this whole thing is showing you what what you're gonna have to go through so each time you complete a task on the page you would click on the yellow button at the bottom right hand corner of your of the website and it would take you to the next page or you could click on the one at the top right hand corner but since I'm already an existing customer I'm not going to go through this whole process but just know that when you when you finish filling out a form on a Pacific page you would go to the next page by clicking the yellow button and it'll take you to the next page so I'm going to go back by hitting the back button in my browser and I'm going to go back again and since I'm upgrading uh, to the newest version of the program I'm gonna scroll down on this page that we on we were on before that shows both versions of the program web designer MX and web designer MX premium 8 so let me scroll down and you'll see a few options here and it'll say from web designer MX version 8 to web designer MX premium I have web designer 7 so I'm gonna actually upgrade from web designer premium uh, to web designer MX8 and I believe I am trying to figure out something so I apologize uh, for the delay here because I'm trying to figure out which one I actually have to upgrade yeah I have web designer premium so yeah web designer 7 to web designer MX8 okay so make sure that you're upgrading to the premium and you'll know which ones are premium by looking at the V8 and then the word premium so make sure that it says that when you're upgrading I have web designer premium the older version and I want to upgrade to web designer MX premium version 8 make sure it says v8 that's very important if it doesn't say v8 you're upgrading to the wrong version so once you find that you'll click on the buy now key and once you do that uh, you know you'll select either I'm a private customer or I'm a business customer but I'm already an existing customer so I shouldn't have to enter this information in I'm not sure why it's making me do that 
uh, you know, I'm already an existing customer. You know, back to registration. So make sure you hit the back to registration key at the bottom left hand corner. Okay, I am a returning customer. Let's try this one more time and see if I can get my address right. I have more than one account, so sometimes I I forget which one to use. Okay, let's try this again. Shopping cart. I think this is the first time I've made these kind of mistakes in a tutorial. Okay, great, awesome. So you'll see this time it shows $69.99 instead of $99.99. So I got it correct this time. So you know, give me a give me a hand clap for that. I actually got it right. And it gives you the option to get a CD backup. I usually don't because I'm pretty good at backing up my information on an external hard drive. But if you want to have a backup CD, uh, you would add that to your order for an extra ten dollars. And if you have a coupon code, which I don't, you would enter that here at this bottom part. But I don't have a coupon coupon code. So let's hit select payment method, which is the next key. and you will select your payment method and I'm going to blur this out for privacy reasons well I really don't need to blur it out I won't blur it out hit check information this is just yellow key and once you do that you'll go ahead and you'll scroll down and if the amount is, is uh, correct and you have all your address information correct which I have blurred out uh, you will hit the pay key at the bottom right hand corner and pay for the software And once you're done, you oh well actually you enter in your car information, which I have to enter that now. And I'm gonna blur this out again. And after you enter all your, your information for your car, you will hit finish order. And once you enter that, you'll make a note of your order number, which I have blurred out. You won't be able to see it on screen here, but you do want to make sure that you copy uh, your order number in case you have any issues and you'll see that it says here we will shortly send an order confirmation to your email address and email confirming your order and containing your activation code for the trial download will be sent immediately if you haven't already downloaded the trial you can do so here so you left click this link if you don't have that program already downloaded for version 8 MX premium and you would go ahead and download it so I'm going to show you how you can download uh, that version. So click on that link. You're going to look for uh, Web Designer MX version 8. And you'll see a download option here. You click download and it will take you to the next page. And you're going to download Web Designer MX Premium, which is this one on this side. When you click that download button, it'll ask for your email address. Uh, and you will enter that email address in if you haven't before. And I already have my email address, so I don't really need to enter that. And if you've already sent them your email address, you don't have to enter that either. But if you haven't before, enter your email address and, and then check. I would I recommend checking the inform me about updates and other news and then you hit the download key. But because I already have that in and they have my information, I'm just going to hit the download key. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't allow me. OK, you have to hit it twice. And by the second time you hit it, you'll be able to download the file. You hit save file and you'll save that file on your computer and that's how you would download the program and then you would install it like you normally do I'm assuming that you know how to install the program or otherwise you wouldn't have followed any of my other tutorials but now I'm going to go to my email address so I can get that activation code and I'm going to show you that in my email here so I'm going to go to Yahoo email whatever your email address is that you have your information sent to that's where you're going to go so I go ahead and log into my email here and again, I have this blurred out for privacy reasons. And I'm going to blur out most of the stuff on this page, too. And you should see a link that says Xar Shop confir confir confirmation of your order from Xar. Left click on that, and that's going to have all your information. But I am going to blur it out so that you can't see it. But you should have a serial number if you got that email. And that's a serial number you're going to enter in when you install the program. So that's how you support us um, with, you know, buying the software off of the Xara website. It's by going to uh, the site, downloading it, and then 
uh, getting the serial number in your email and then after you get that serial number you're going to enter it into the Xara program okay so what do you do after you uh, get your and I'm going to close this out actually so what do you do after you get your your file to download uh, after you're done downloading it you will just double left click on it and it'll give you a prompt asking do you want to open that file and you're going to hit OK and this is going to install the program so it says do you want to run this file you'll hit the run key and I'm actually going against what I told you I said I wouldn't tell you how to do everything but uh, I feel it's important that we uh, go through the whole process actually so I'm not sure if this video is going to be split up into two parts or if it's going to be all in one video uh, but I will try to put it into one video if it's not you'll know that by seeing that there's two separate lessons so uh, I do apologize for the separate lessons here but I'm going to show you how to go through the whole process so it's extracting this uh, file and getting ready to install it so we'll have to wait for that and it'll ask you do you want to set the program up you'll hit next hit accept license next standard program you'll leave that check hit next enter your username uh, in this case I will just put uh, XR just make up a name it doesn't really matter um, Enter your username and if Apple will enter your company name we'll just put uh, I don't know just make up whatever it doesn't really matter I'll just put owner and hit next and then hit install and this is going to install uh, the XR software and it's that simple it's not a very uh, complicated process um, very easy to understand in my opinion and this is going to install the program but once you're done installing that uh, you'll see the installation has completed successfully and that means you're ready to uh, install the program well open the program so hit finish and as you can see it, it opened up the program and it's going to ask you for the serial number It'll say the serial number will be in your purchase confirmation email or on the back of the CD case if you ordered a CD version so it's very important that you read that statement so you will enter your serial number here where it says P2 so right in that box and you'll hit control V and voila you able to use the program so you'll click the option that says activate and register immediately online or activate yeah you'll click on that and it will register your program so you'll wait for it to finish doing that and once it's complete you'll be able to use the program so we'll wait for that it says thank you activation was successful please keep a copy of your serial number and if available your activation code you will have to enter them again in case of reinstallation hit OK and we're done with the process so this is probably my longest tutorial I've ever made and I do apologize for that uh, but hopefully this tutorial was helpful in showing you how uh, to install or upgrade uh, the program if you're a new person purchasing hopefully you understood how to purchase it and if you're upgrading hopefully you understood how to upgrade so we're done we have successfully uh, installed or, or the new program if we're new to the program or we upgraded successfully if you're uh, upgrading and thanks again for viewing this tutorial if it was helpful please give a thumbs up if you need help uh, you know send me a message so even if the tutorial is not helpful you know just send me a message and I'll help you go through the process uh, thanks again for viewing this tutorial